Hey guys, so I picked up a few pieces from the Chanel Fall 2021 collection. I picked up the new blush shade in Ombre. I picked up all four of the new um, Stilo Ombre et Contours. These are their like chubby eye sticks. And then I picked up three, three out of the four new Ombre Premier Lacs, which are the long wear liquid eyeshadows from Chanel. They also came out with two new matte lipsticks. I didn't pick those up. I don't always reach for matte lipsticks. And then they also came out with four new nail polish colors, I believe. And I think they're pretty much the same as like the liquid eyeshadows. Anyway, I get my nails done at a salon, so I never really pick up the Chanel nail polishes. So that's what I picked up. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the blush. Now you guys know, I did a whole video on the new Chanel blushes. I'm not the biggest fan of this formula. I prefer their old formula much, much more. But this color looked really nice and I thought I'll give it a shot. So again, this is the shade Ombre. Packaging is the same, comes with the velvet pouch. And I really, really like this shade. So I think it's pretty true to what you see online. I wasn't sure if it was going to be this just mid-tone kind of brown. I'm really excited to see that it is. I do wish it had a little bit of a sheen to it, but it looks to be a matte blush. Here is a swatch of this on the back of my hand. And let's go ahead and actually apply <laughs> this blush to my cheeks. All right, I've got my Surat cheek brush and I'm gonna go into the blush. And I do have my favorite Dior concealer down. I pretty much have that all over my face as like foundation. And I do have some of the um, Dior powder down on top. So that's what we're starting with. So I really like this shade. It's actually not very pigmented. I feel like I've put quite a bit on and I mean, it's there. <laughs> you can see it on my cheek versus this side, but I feel like I put quite a bit on, like I should have a really strong cheek right now and it's very natural. You know, when it comes to blush, I don't think that's a big problem, but I just wanted to mention that I feel like this is a very lightly pigmented blush. It is building up though, so that is good. And there is the shade on my face. Nothing on this side. I feel like it's a lot rosier than I thought. I thought it was going to be really much, much more brown, but it does look kind of rosy on my cheek. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Yeah, I feel like it looks pretty rosy on my cheeks, right? Instead of, instead of it looking very brown toned. Okay, well, I don't think the color is bad. It's just not what I was expecting when looking at this shade in the pan. Um, but it is very, very pretty. It is very neutral. If you like a matte blush, you're going to really enjoy this blush. It is very, very matte. I am not the biggest fan of matte blushes. This is a true, true matte blush. I feel like my skin just looks really dry there. So maybe not my favorite, but I will have to keep this in mind if I am randomly looking for a matte blush. I'll have to remember this one. So that is the new blush in Ombre. Let me um, kind of fill in my eyebrows here and then we'll jump to the eye products. All right, so these are the three shades that I got. Here is La May Ivory. This is number 39. Here is a swatch of that shade. Next up, I got shade number 37. This is La May Ossier. I don't know, <laughs> it's number 37. And here is a swatch of that next to the ivory. And then I also purchased La May Bronze, which is shade number 33. And here is that shade swatched next to the others. So these all have a doe foot applicator. And I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but I think this is maybe the second collection that Chanel has come out with that has included these Ombre Premier Lacs. They are relatively new and I enjoy them, but they are definitely on the thinner side. And I feel like when it comes to uh, deeper shades, there is the risk of them looking a little bit patchy, but you have to let them set down a little bit and then you can kind of blend it out and move it out a little bit. If you go in a little bit too soon when they're too wet still, I feel like my experience with them has been that they are a little bit patchy. Oh, and the fourth shade that I didn't get is one that is I think like a brownish red. And I just didn't think I would wear it, definitely not as often as these three. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put ivory on both eyes. I'm gonna put that like on the inside of my lid towards the center. 
And then on one eye, I'm going to use the bronze, and on the other, I'm going to use that Ossier number 37, <laughs> that shade, which is like the very cool tone kind of silver shade. All right, so I've got my Sony G Worker 2 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to work with liquid eyeshadows. And I'm going to apply directly from the doe foot, and I'm just going to pat the shade down here. And I'm not looking for perfection because <laughs> I'm going to go in with this brush and use this to blend out a bit. And I'm just using like patting motions. I'm not really kind of, you know, dragging my brush around. And when it comes to these longer eyeshadows, I definitely like to work one eye at a time because they set down completely. And once they set down, they don't, they don't budge at all. I see the color down, but I don't really feel like I'm getting a lot of a metallic sheen. I wonder if these are meant to be a little bit softer in terms of uh, shine. But I'm putting down, this is the third layer. I feel like with the third layer, the shine has intensified. I think on this eye, I'm going to try just picking the product up with my brush and laying it down. I wonder if that would make a difference. So the shine to these is very, very soft. It's more of a, a satin versus a metallic. I don't know why I was assuming they would be very metallic, probably because they're liquid. I'm imagining this would look beautiful on a deeper skin tone because it's almost like my skin tone. <laughs> so it's really hard to see the pigment, but it has a really nice, soft sort of satin finish. And I really, I really like that. All right, let's try the deeper shades, which uh, hopefully you'll be able to see. Uh, let's start with this uh, 37 Lame, the Ossier, Os Os Osier. and I'm going to dab some just on the outer corner here. I'm going to start light because the shade is fairly deep, and I'm just going to use the same brush here. Maybe I'll flip it over. Oh wow, you have to work pretty quickly with these. Or maybe this one dries down a little bit more quickly than the ivory. Let me get a little bit more here. Let me actually pick up some straight on my brush then, and then just go in. I just picked up a little bit more. I'm trying to get it to blend over the ivory more gently here. Well, there is the Ossier. So I, I think this one dried down more quickly than I feel like the experience I've had with these Ombre Premier Lax. I don't feel like I remember them drying down quite this quickly, um, but I think because it dries down quickly, it's less patchy. So that that's good, that's the trade-off, I guess. All right, so there is the Ossier shade. Now I'm gonna try the Lame Bronze. I'm gonna try that on this eye. I'm gonna use the same brush. There's very little of the Ossier left. Going in with a little bit more here. This bronze shade is like the ivory shade. It's not that metallic. It's like kind of a dull satin sheen. The Ossier is definitely the most metallic out of the three that I got. And I am finding the bronze just a little, it's a little patchy. I'm gonna try applying it straight from the doe foot. No, this one is definitely patchy for me. I thought the Ossier worked really well. The Ivory, you know, from what I can tell because it's so close to my skin tone, I think that works really well. This bronze is not, it's not really blending that well for me. I'm just gonna have to experiment a little bit more with it. Interesting. But yeah, the Ossier, I think the Ossier looks nice. But these definitely stay put. I have a few swatches on the back of my hand and they don't, <laughs> they're not budging. So they are definitely long wear. All right, well, the jury is out on this bronze, but I do like the two other shades that I got. 
All right, let's move on to the Stilo Ombre et Contours. I got all four of the new shades. All right, here is number 15, Contour Khaki. And here is a swatch of that. Oof, I love these pencils. They're so soft and easy to apply, and these also don't budge. Next, I got number 15, which is Contour Marron. And this is a nice, deep, reddish brown. It definitely has a pretty strong red undertone. Next is number 17, which is Contour Graphite. I was so excited for this shade. This is like a beautiful, like slightly metallic taupe. The khaki and the maroon do not have any metallic sheen to them, but this one does. And then lastly, we have number 19, which is Contour Beige. And this is a very warm, how do I describe this color? It's almost like a terracotta, like camel color, a deep camel color. Very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, contour khaki. I think I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with this. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's always hard when it's something this small <laughs> on your face. So there is contour khaki. I think it looks a lot more almost like a uh, like a forest green versus like an olive green on my eye. Isn't that interesting? Like it changed a little bit. Even on my swatch, it looks like a, like a straight up like olive, like fatigue green. But I feel like on my eye, it looks a little bit bluer. And then for under this eye, I'm gonna try the contour maroon, which is number 15. So there's that shade. That one looks the same, I feel like, as my swatch. And then next, number 17, uh, the Contour Graphite. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just put that on my lid and like I'll tight line with it. Hopefully, I'll just, I'll just draw it on real thick so you guys can see it. It is a really nice compliment to this um, Ossier Lac eyeshadow. So there is the contour graphite. These are so soft and easy to apply. I kind of forgot about these, but I also want to show you, here they are. I also want to show you how, um, how well they stay put. There's like a little bit of pigment on my finger, but these really, really stay put. They're like 99.9% .9 smudge proof. And lastly, we have number 19 the contour beige. I guess I'll do the same thing on this side. I am curious how this one is gonna look. There's like a, like a mustardy quality to it. Wow, that is a really different color for me in terms of like an eyeliner. That's pretty neat though. And these, by the way, they have like a little sharpener at the bottom and they also twist up and down. All right, well, wow, I managed to get all seven eye products on my eyes. I really enjoy them all except for this bronze. I'm gonna have to keep playing around with this. I don't know, I feel like maybe it sets down not as fast as the Aussie. I feel like this is one of those that I need to let sit for a little while and then go in. I didn't take my own advice because I thought it was the same as this, which set down a lot faster than I thought. Anyway, let me go ahead and just finish my face and I'll be right back. All right, so that is it for this video. All the um, products that I have on my face, I'll list down below in my description box. And like I mentioned, I really enjoy all the products except for this bronze, which I'll have to get back to you guys on whether or not I can make it work. But the other two work beautifully. I really love the crayons. Those always have worked really, really well for me. I just enjoy them so much. And I think the blush is very pretty. I think it's just, it's not for me. I knew it was matte, but sometimes matte blushes can look very skin-like or they're, you know, demi-matte or maybe they're demi-satin if I get lucky. But this is like a straight up matte. And I feel like my cheeks just look really flat and dry. And I know that's that's a personal thing. That's, that's definitely a me problem. <laughs> but anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.